Yo, you reminded me, by the way, I, I thought I had no cruise anecdotes. I actually do have one that I forgot about. On the first day we sat down and there was like an advertisement on our table. And it was uh, like, you can save money by buying a wine package. We, Kate and I don't really drink wine, but we're like, you know what? It's a special occasion. Maybe we can get like a five night wine package. So we, we bought it. It's like $150 or something like that. Um, and I guess I didn't really think about this at the time, but it's not like five bottles. It's like five nights of all you can drink wine. So you can order whatever you want. But we're like just two adults and uh, like a toddler. So we're not drinking that much wine. So we were having like half a bottle of wine a night. And then on the last day, we got internet access and we started looking up the bottles of wine that we got. And I just, I basically let my wife order all of them. And she was like, you know, let's have some Prosecco. Let's have some Moscato. You know, let's say just, let's have some Rosé. It's not serious wine. It's just fun wine. Started looking that shit up on that last dinner. And we were like, we've had four bottles of wine. Each one of them was between 10 and $15 American. And we we're like, oh, fuck. So we said we got like one more night to try to make up some of the money. So I said, you're cut. I'm going to order this next one. And I was looking at the, I don't know anything about wine. I was looking at the wine list and I was like, uh, no, don't get the ones from Italy. Don't get the ones from France because I know what they're going to do. They're going to be like, oh, this one's from Italy, so you're going to think it's good, but actually it's like the worst Italian wine ever made. So I said, give me this one from Washington State. And you know why I went for it is because it was called like Chateau Smith. And I was like, if they call it Chateau Smith, it must be good because they didn't put any sauce on the name at all. I would not trust a wine from Washington that's called like La Maison de Louvre or something like that. I would give me Chateau Smith. It must be popping. And then, well, I drank like one sip of it and I was like, this is really good. And then we looked it up and it was like $9.99. And I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> we got fleeced. It had decent reviews, but, but that's not what we were trying to. That's not what we were trying to do. So we weren't, we weren't trying to get good wine. We were trying to make our money back. So my advice is only order the wine package on a cruise if you are degenerate. <laughs> In which case, I think you might be able to make it worth your while. I mean, I didn't realize... I, I think it took me until like day three to realize that it was not like one bottle a night. It was like... You can have as much wine as you want for five nights. Because I was like, that's not something that we really do with alcohol in North America. Because, like, I think we people realize that, like, we can't be trusted. What the hell's going on, man? When I was in college, I had a cruise where our package was 15 cocktails a day. That's just, like... I'm a relatively firm believer that you should be able to, like, do whatever you want within reason. But... I feel like incentivizing people, like allowing people to drink 15 cocktails a day is one thing. Incentivizing people to drink 15 cocktails a day is crazy. <laughs> like that's insane. The whole gang had alcohol poisoning. I mean, 15 cocktails a day for the length of a cruise is like, it's a lot. 15 cocktails a day for like a day is a lot. <laughs> for like four days or something? I don't even, maybe even like 10 days? That's crazy.